Hello everybody, welcome back to the Matplotlib 3D Graph series. In this tutorial video, we're going to be talking about putting up uh, three-dimensional scatter plots, and then also adding uh, labels to our plot color and plot um, look or feel or whatever you want to call it. Um, with the first video in the 3D series, I just kind of wanted to keep it as basic as possible, and then as time goes on, we'll continue adding layers, not only to the, you know, because basically we're going over different chart types, and then now we're going to start adding stuff that is kind of similar across, like you're going to have labels all across, and then the colors and the line type and all this kind of stuff um, kind of follows you no matter what you're doing in the 3D plotting. So that's kind of what I'd like to do with this 3D series. So anyway, with that, let's hop right in. Um, same thing as before, we're gonna need from MPL underscore toolkits dot mplot 3D import axes 3D. And then the next thing we're gonna need is import matplotlib dot plot as PLT, done. Next thing we want to do, fig uh, equals plot figure, nothing new, nothing new. Axis equals fig dot add underscore sub plot, nothing new, same thing as before. And then projection equals 3D, same thing as before there as well. Now we're going to toss it up a little bit. The last time we, what we did was x, y, z equals and then three arrays. Instead, what I'd like to do, if since we're having kind of long arrays, I think that it's better to do x equals an array, y equals an array, and z equals an array, since our data is so long. But I would, you know, probably in the at the end of the day, you're going to end up uh, finally doing like an x, y, z, and equals that numpy array that we had done in the matplotlib series prior to these videos. So um, with that, this is just another way to think about doing it if you do have a lot of data, but chances are if you have a lot of data, you're probably um, pulling from a file or something like you're not hand typing it in. But anyway, we're just gonna, I'm just going to show you. You know, there's multiple ways to do the same thing in programming, and so it's just good to show the multiple ways to do it. So anyway, we're just going to make up some data again. If you still have your data from before, you can start arranging it this way, or you can leave it the way you had it. It doesn't really matter. I think it was something like that. Okay, so now we have what I believe to be 10 of each. Hopefully. The next thing we want, and this will be a little different, it's going to be ax.scatter for scatter plot. And then we're going to do x, y, z to plot. The next thing we have is c for color. And we're going to say the color is going to be red. And then now we have marker, and this there's all kinds of different markers. And in this case, we're going to use the uh, just a zero for like a circular marker. And finally, um, you can also set labels. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So ax.set underscore and x label. And we're just going to call this um, x axes. And then the same thing for the other ones. Let's just copy and paste this, save some time. So this will be X, Y, and Z, Z, Y, and X. So now the next thing, obviously, plot show, shop, plot shop, go shopping. Save. We'll run this. Hopefully, no errors. Of course, we had errors. Ah, we need to capitalize the D. It's axes three, capital D for dimensions. Let's try again. All right, here we go, and we have our plot. Let me fit it to screen. Now you can see that instead of like lines, they're, you know, scatter plots on the chart and the red in circles and beautiful. We also have our X axes, our Y axes, and our Z axes uh, labeled here for us. And the other thing you'll note that I think is pretty impressive again that took quite a bit of uh, coding is this visually, it's very hard for you to tell which plot is closer, this one or this one. Now, if they were the exact same red, that is. But visually, you know, because this one's obviously closer. As you can see, as you turn it, you can see it visually. But also, when it's a static chart, say you only took an image of it, you'd also know, because this is kind of faded a little bit, so it gives you the, um, the 
really it's an illusion <laughs> that this plot is further back. So as we rotate, you know, you do see that it, it, it was further back, it's still further back, and then as it comes closer, it's, it's clear that, okay, now it's really close. So anyway, um, just little subtle things like that uh, just definitely impressed me. I think that's really awesome. <laughs> for this uh, graphing. It's so it's just such a sh simple little graphing program and it's really lightweight so it's just a great great program. Anyway, um, that's basically it as far as making um, three-dimensional scatter plots. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for, to the next video and thanks for your support your subscriptions.